Hi, my name is Carsten Beinecke and I'm the product manager of Plan Tools. This video shows the various features of our product Plan Express Tools. Plan Express Tools contain functions to support CAD related issues and updating, as well as helping with the configuration of AutoCAD PNAD and Plan 3D. If you have a drawing frame with labeled axes, you may want to have the coordinates of your PNID symbols calculated in relation to your grid. In the settings of Plan Express Tools, you can define the default values for your calculation and can adapt this to your requirements. After running the calculation, you can see the coordinates as additional properties. And since the values are stored in properties, you can of course use them in a report as well. The function rename copy project just does what it's supposed to do. Just select the project you want to rename or copy. Define the new location. Type in a project name and if you want include the drawings as well. And that's it. This function copies all your files from your project folder. Assemblies are used by companies to structure their PNIDs. To use this feature, you just need to draw a polyline or a rectangle around the part of the PNID. Convert it to an assembly, give it a tag and annotate it. If you click on the assembly button now, all parts within the polyline will acquire the assembly tag. If you insert a new symbol in the assembly, just click on the button again for updating purposes. If you change the tag of the assembly, the related parts of the assembly will of course acquire the new tag. To make sure you didn't forget to hit the update button, the function can automatically update the assembly when the drawing is saved. It's very tedious to maintain especially long selection lists. Therefore, you can export selection lists, modify them and import them back. Or maybe you already have an existing Excel sheet with data you want to import as a selection list. Now let's see how it's done. First, we export the existing services selection list. Start the ximport function. Select selection lists and then select export selection lists. Choose the selection list you want to export from PNID or Plan3D and define a location and file name. That's it. Open the CSV file and modify it. I prepared a new services file. Now we start the ximport function again. Now choose Import Selection Lists. Select the file. You can now either choose an existing selection list or create a new one. Type in the name of the new selection list. Our file has a header. That's it. Now let's take a look into the project setup. As you can see, the file is now available as a selection list. Often you want to exchange selection lists between PNID and Plan3D. Again, start the ximport function. Now select Copy selection lists between PNID and Plan3D. 
Let's select the newly imported selection list in PNRD. Let's check now if the selection list is available in Plan3D as well. All this makes it very easy to maintain selection lists. Another purpose of the ximport function is to ximport the symbol properties. Start the function, but this time select symbols. Select a location and file name. If you now open the CSV file to adapt the width of the columns, you see columns which start with the expression new. Here you can type in the new values of whatever you want to change. As you can see, you can modify a symbol or block name as well. We will change the layer for equipment to EQ and the color to red or 1. Save the file and import the file with the import function. The symbol properties have been updated. For the changes to have effect on the active drawing, we use the command sync styles. If we check an equipment symbol, we see that layer and color have been modified. This feature is very helpful for everybody who has to set up and modify PNID projects. Another tedious aspect of project configuration is modifying the class properties. In this example, I created a new tag for equipment. I change the tag format name and hit apply. When I look into the two blower symbols, they still show the former tag format. So I could either check all the symbols under equipment or I can export the tag format name and check and modify the value. So let's export the class properties this time. Select location and file name. Now we have the opportunity to limit the class properties to a specific class. In this case I am solely interested in the equipment class. Also we can select which properties we want to export. Here I select the tag format name. Let's open the CSV file. We see that the two blowers show the wrong tag format. If you see a star in front of a value, it means that this value is inherited from a higher class. Since all equipment classes are supposed to inherit the tag format from the equipment class, I type in empty instead of the tag format name. Finally, let's check if there are any other classes with the wrong tag format. If not, we save the file and import it back. If we now check the two blower classes, we see that they inherit the new tag format too. If you modify or create a new tag, the tags in your drawings won't be affected. In this example I created a new tag format for equipment. If you want to update your tags in the drawing, you either click on Update Tags in Drawing or Update Tags in Project. After you clicked on the button, you get an overview of the changes. A similar update function is available for acquisition rules as well. This is helpful because sometimes the acquisition rules defined in your project configuration don't work properly anymore. With the click of one of the two buttons, they will be up to date again. You probably know that if you insert a symbol which breaks the pipeline, the annotation doesn't show the correct data anymore. In this example, I insert a reducer in a 4-inch line 
and then change the size behind the reducer to 3 inch. Still, the annotation shows 4 inch. The line annotation update function checks all line annotations in a drawing and updates them if necessary. In addition to that, you can also just copy an annotation from a completely different line number and update it as well. Nice and easy. This video showed you the variety of features and functions of Blend Express Tools. New functions will be added constantly. If you have questions about the product, do not hesitate to contact us. Thanks for your attention.